Hey guys, how's it going? John here. Uh, I've got another video tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to make your uh, video look cinematic using Camtasia Studio. And let's get started. As you can see here, I've got my video here, and uh, it looks like this. And it looks pretty good already. This was shot on my Nexus 5. But uh, we're going to make that cinematic, so first things first, you're going to need a couple of things. The first thing is this overlay right here, I call it grunge overlay. And it looks like that. And then the second thing you're going to need is the white screen bar overlay right here. You can't see it, but uh, if I drag it down you can see it. And that's it. So the first thing is drag your original clip the track one which I've done already so let me do it again drag your video to track one all the way to the bottom and then after that drag the grunge overlay on top of the original clip that's gonna be in track two and as you can see you made the clip a little bit darker it looks like this now it looks like shit right now but it's gonna be better so what you need to do now is uh, double click the grunge overlay and go to visual properties and adjust the opacity, decrease it and it really depends if uh, you want to make your clip darker or lighter if you want to make it lighter then de decrease it but if you want to make it darker then increase it and then after that go to colorize and this is what's gonna determine the mood of your clip so if you want to make your clip look mysterious and dark you're gonna want to go for the darker colors like black and then you can play around with the amount of colorization you can even go for blue it makes it look fucking cold as shit and if you want to make your video look more happy and lively you can go for the warmer colors you can go for green it looks like this and you can you can decrease the opacity to make it brighter if you're looking for a happier mood in your video you can even go for red to make it warmer like that. Alright, let's see the comparison without the grunge overlay. See, see the difference right there. Alright, and after all that, you're just gonna drag your white screen overlay into track 3. And it's gonna look like that. It's gonna be cinematic as fuck. Looks like this looks fucking awesome doesn't it and then the last uh, optional uh, step is gonna be this this is optional though you don't have to do it but uh, I like to do it to make the film more uh, contrasty if you will so double click the track one your original clip and go to visual properties again go to colorize and pick black or somewhere yeah something grayish something blackish and what this does is it adjusts your your contrast as you can see if I increase it the shadows get darker so I like to keep it somewhere somewhere uh, around here so it looks like this and yeah you can play around with the parameters in the uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a like. And uh, you can even subscribe if you want. I've got other stuff on my channel. Like covers and original music and shit like that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.